Hi, my name's Biba, and I'd like to share my quantum healing hypnosis experience to share what it did for me, to help others understand how profound it can be. It's very difficult to describe really what this whole experience is and was because it's still unfolding, even though my first session was two years ago. The the ripple effect of that work, those insights, that connection have not only completely transformed my life internally, but also externally. I have been into meditation for a very, very long time. And especially the work of Joe Dispenza in the last three years, I have done the work daily. And it has also transformed my inner world. Everything I knew to be true was confirmed. Insights, locations, visions, experiences, peace, joy, forgiveness, wholeness, happiness, letting go, dying to self. All of that is what meditation brings. And that has made life for me a much more pleasant experience because I'm no longer responding from a flight or fight mode or from hurts of the past or fears of the future. None of that really exists in my world anymore. I don't do that. I just enjoy what is and I allow what is to unfold because I trust and I know. And that's the power of meditation. It's you're, You came here to know yourself and we only get to really know ourselves by meditating. And that means closing your eyes, going within and discovering the wealth and the reservoir within your own soul. And that will be revealed to you. And the, the louder you knock and the more often you knock, the more doors will be opened and the more will be revealed to you. So not everybody knows everything. Some people know some things because it's quantum. It's eternal. There's no beginning to wisdom, knowledge and experiences. And there's no end either. And it's continual and it's beautiful and it's sacred and... So when I had my first quantum healing, I had one question. I won't share what the question is because it's personal to me. But nobody on the earth could answer this question because it was an off earth question. So nobody could answer. They could help me understand from their vantage point and their viewpoint. But that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for the answers to this question because it had been bothering me. It had been bothering me because I saw a documentary and it bothered me. I let it in, you know, I allowed it in and it festered and I'm glad I let it in because it brought me into this incredible world that has transformed even deeper layers of my inner inner self. But also it has now began to spring and bloom and blossom into my outer world, into my relationships, into my work into how I view myself, how I view others, how I view life. It has seeped into all things, this magic, beautiful, sacred, divine light has infiltrated and flooded all areas of my life. And that's since I did the quantum healing. The hypnosis part of the session I never understood. I never studied or knew anything about hypnosis. I wasn't that interested so I was slightly curious as to whether it would work on me but when I went for the session and I had a very abstract experience I it made no sense to me absolutely none but I liked it I did I enjoyed it and I was curious it left me with a curiosity that I hadn't had before the most beautiful part about the whole experience was I got my question answered in such a way that I felt nothing but divine peace after based on this question but it had opened up doors within me that hadn't really been opened as into my inquiry of self and what is and that is very interesting to me because that's what holds my interest that's where my attention is that's where my energy is looking back two years later this is what's happened since that first quantum healing hypnosis session within three months of that session I started to paint and I'd never painted before. I had a vision and in the vision I was in space painting space and I woke up from that dream slash vision slash reality to being an artist. 
and I never wanted to be an artist. It's not something that I ever went to college. I never, I never painted. I didn't really have a skill for it. Genuinely, that's true. I didn't, um, I didn't have a flair. But after this vision, I knew how to paint. And since then, within six months to twelve months, I had a website with paintings for sale. And I had many of my paintings taken by Netflix for one of their TV shows. So how can you not paint and then wake up and you can paint? That's quantum. In my in my world, that's it's miraculous, isn't it? Really, it's a phenomena. That's one of the things that happened, and that wasn't so obvious to me in the beginning. I didn't put it down to the quantum. I didn't understand it enough. You see, I just thought. I'm ready for a new direction because when I did the first session it unlocked within me a deeper level of creativity that was already there it unlocked it, it unlocked deeper layers of what was already there because in us is everything so I've always been very intuitive very telepathic psychic as in clairvoyant and clairaudient I have access to information that can sometimes be very noisy for me in my system access to information as in other people's energy field how they're feeling how they're thinking what they're projecting and I've always had access to that but I didn't particularly enjoy it because I found it loud and I found it distracting and I found that I never really benefited from it or neither did they I just had access to it I just knew it's like a knowing that's what it is but this session what it did was it unlocked a deeper layer of this ability that I had within me that I wasn't really paying much attention to apart from being very grateful for my intuition because that's my radar that's what I go by in my life I only go by my intuition and I developed a much deeper level of understanding and knowing about people I was able to uh, from a very non-judgmental loving place understand people let go forgive deeper than I'd ever known before not yes I've forgiven you or yes I you know or I'm letting go I mean it's gone there's there's nothing there there's no triggers there's no keywords there's no nothing it's just not there that's also a phenomena for me yeah it's a phenomena there's a UFO community and uh as beautiful as that is they don't have language for it because we haven't integrated it into our reality yet and this is in the same way that word phenomena how this quantum healing works the language hasn't been integrated into our culture yet because we haven't really had too much research on it the work of Joe Dispenza and those meditations is all the scientific evidence you'll ever need everything's been proven that you can completely heal yourself you can completely heal your body physically emotionally mentally yourself through meditations through mindsets and this quantum work is the same i am now uh, living in a different place i've completely changed my career i'm now a qualified level two practitioner of quantum healing and i i do these sessions with these people and i feel as if an angel walked into the room, you'd be so awestruck, but awestruck's not the right word. I feel so humbled to partake in life transformative moments with people. I feel humbled, that is the word. As if It's as if a presence walked into the room or appeared, because presences don't walk, do they? They appear or they show up or they reveal themselves and you just look at them and you're like, oh my god you're real you know that type of thing it's like oh my god this is like this is divine I've worked with many people now because I've only just really started this level 2 practitioner and I've launched my own business and my own career into this because I, I'm seeing the results and the reason why I did that is because I've always been interested in healing not because I've wanted to be but because I am it's who I am and it's always come back it's like the hamster wheel it just keeps coming back and I've trained and studied and 
for over 25 years since I was in my since I was 22 basically when I went to India I'm 48 now that's a long time ago and looking for ways for people to just have a better life just a better life right now not in the future not in the past but right now just to be happy and be present in themselves and to to be aware of the animals and the nature and their loved ones and to let their guns down and feel love you know feel love feel joy be able to experience those things that not needing to seek outside confirmation all the time and being accountable for their their own self that they they've minded themselves and they've investigated themselves and they've healed themselves and that sense of self-worth that knowing everything is going to always be okay and 25 years later I look at this modality that Dolores Cannon uh, brought about and it's perfect I have to be honest it's there are variations of it and all is good all is well but it's beautiful it's perfect the healing is perfect the questions are perfect the the conversation part of the interview it's perfect it's just all lining up for you to be what you've always been but for you to see it and hear it and witness it for the first time and that is why I have started this quantum healing journey as a quantum healing hypnosis practitioner and it's all good and it's all beautiful and it's all unfolding and then we ask ourselves don't we would I have ever done this had I have not done the quantum healing well the answer is no I wouldn't have because I was stuck in a cycle and the cycle was comfortable I'm comfortable I've got a job I'm comfortable I'm doing my bit I'm serving but deep down I knew that I needed to let it all go and just allow what was really meant for me to unfold and I've been living that out now for the last while and it's been so exciting because it's been incredibly challenging it's challenged all of my faith all of my trust everything that I've known and everything that I've relied on has been removed everything and I find myself excited for what is I no longer worry about uh, but what about this and what about that those questions don't even they just don't get viewing time anymore what gets viewing time is let's see what unfolds follow the joy follow what feels good and I hope to work with you in the future and if I don't get to work with you and do a quantum healing with you I hope you seek it out seek a practitioner that resonates with you not someone that looks good or sounds good but somebody who resonates listen to their voice when they're talking get a video of somebody talking or listen and if you feel their words hit a chord that's the good one that's the one that you should work with and I wish you well and I send you love